thisyblitz.com. Hi, my name is Mr. Jal Singh. My name is Mr. Raj Patel. And you're watching us on daisyblitz.com. So we're in um, the new Tapri bar in Dudley. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys, how did you get the idea or concept to have your own Indian bar and grill? Well, it was um, historically, we've always thought about it. We were obviously run pizza shops and coffee shops before. And I've always said to Raj, it's a lot of work, bar grills. So it's like, you know, it's no. long. Okay. His exact words were, if I get a bar grill, then my missus is going to divorce me. Yeah, yeah, Basically, yeah. auntie's going to divorce him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was that, was, that was my words, right? I thought, because it's seven days a week, it's constant. And she says, you already like to have a bit of a, 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 bit of a beer. You know, you're never going to be home. But I saw the site in Sutton, it was during the lockdown. And it was actually a superb site. We just, let's just go for it. Even though we had to keep it closed, over a year because of lockdown, but we just kept it closed, paid all the rents, rates, everything. But when it's ready to launch, went for it. And why did you choose um, Indian cuisine as the main focal point instead of like anything else? Because obviously we are Indians historically. We're both born in the UK, but ancestral roots is Indian. So, you know, when you're out and about, even when you go away on holiday, you have two, two, two weeks of looking for places to eat. Eventually, by that second week, coming towards the end, you're looking for an Indian restaurant. And that's what, that's what we are. It's in our blood to have that sort of cuisine. And the, the recipes that the chefs use uh, for the food, um, is that uniquely created by them? Or uh, have you given it to them? Or is it joint? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a joint sort of... We're, we're always working on recipes. We're always working on ingredients. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a mixture we get. We're working with the head chefs um, and looking at what's going on in the marketplace and trying to evolve. Um, with the current times, there's a lot at the moment. There's a lot of sort of people wanting that sort of Indo, sort of English fusion food. So we're just trying to. We're always working on different recipes, and yeah. How do you, how do you actually like pick the dishes that you that you put on the menu as well? Obviously, mixed grills is the main one. Then you have your curries as well. But uh, do you have you obviously been to India and tried the food there and think we want to bring that over here? Um, or is it just, you know, your upbringing, obviously, we're always around roti and stuff like that, so... Yeah, 100%. It's, it's, it's I mean, obviously, uncles um, Punjabi, I'm Gujarati. Um, our, our food is traditionally North Indian here, and that's purely because the market dictates that, you know, um, our main customers are um, sort of British white customers, so they know that typical sort of um, Bangladeshi market of food that, that's always been in the case in the UK. So we've just tried to up, up the ante on that effectively and just try to bring more sort of natural fresh ingredients in rather than the sort of, um, you know, the deli belly sort of ingredients they used to get back in the day. So, yeah. Well, historically, when I, we, when I was a kid, the, I've come from Yorkshire in the Midlands, used to go out on a Friday night or a Saturday night. And because there was no Indian places, apart from the really upmarket restaurants, you used to end up in a Bang Bang Bengali house on Bangladeshi food. Nothing wrong with it but it wasn't North Indian sort of traditional food that we want. It was all like gel phrases and et cetera. And we've always said, look, we need to go a bit more rustic, bring it back home. And that's obviously been an idea, a passion of myself and Raj to go for that traditional food, more Indian and not Bangladeshi. There's nothing wrong with Bangladeshi food, but we want to make it more Punjabi, more North Indian and more rustic. How do you think um, British people, English white British people think about, how do you think, think they feel about Indian food now. Um, obviously back in the day, um, the main like dish was like Baltis and things like that. But is it changing now, you think? I, I personally think, I remember, because I'm sort of um, about 15 years um, younger than uncle. When, when I grew up, when I used to go out with, to the restaurants with my dad and my uncles and everyone, you know, a lot of English people, they couldn't eat that, that spicy food. Whereas now we've been in the industry now for what, 18 months. Um, and you know all of our English customers, their their spice levels are fantastic, so they, they can take that food now. And we've actually found a lot of Indians can't take that food, so the the, the levels are very similar, yeah. which is a good thing. To be honest with you, yeah, I think if you look at the industry as a whole, you know chicken tikka masala being the number one selling food in the country, um, I think it's more popular than fish and chips. From an article I read um, several months ago, so yeah, I think English. British English people, they love they love this Indian food. They love the the bar grill concept because you can you can get a fresh pint and a good selection of spirits, wines, 
um, and you're serving you know fresh pine straight from the tap which you don't normally get in a lot of restaurants you might have a couple of choices but here we've got a full range of beers ipas and everything on, on, on tap um, and obviously the main i think dish for any kind of desi pub is a mixed grill um why do you think that's such a hit with with indians south asians english people it's good quality food um and it's it's healthy i mean our, our ingredients our raw ingredients our meats come from um, believe it or not to, uh, there's a butcher in, in, in Sutton called Pat's Butchers. He's a lovely English butcher and he's, he's, his meat is great, eh? So when, when we get that quality in, customers can tell. Um, do you think um, Desi pubs are taking over traditional pubs now? I think they've taken over. I think you've got the, um, the sort of the brewery run pubs, the Ember Inns, the Harvesters, if you like, whatever. And beyond that, it's, it's either a, a very um, quality English pub which is serving good quality food or it's Desi pubs. I don't see much in between. I mean, I've been reading articles recently in um, obviously the financial magazines. There's stuff like the Stonehouse Group, that old slug on the left east and all the other pubs, etc. The three and a half billion pounds in debt because of the COVID crisis. They're going to be closing pubs left, right and centre because their business model does not work. We, we use fresh ingredients, make our food from scratch. They buy in frozen food and defrost it and then add and then they finish it off. What we make is fresh dishes on a daily basis and people can know you're getting a fresh made product rather than a stuff that's partly baked and you're sort of heating it up again. And that makes so much difference to food quality. And people can tell when they go out, that's fresh. Um, I'm going to put you both on the spot. Um, what's your favourite dish, um, either in your own your own pub or just in Desi? Should I be lamb? He's got a, a one shot of Jack Jameson in him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, now, do you know what? Before I opened um, the bar grill, it was butter chicken. Uh, I'm sick of it now, <laughs> so uh, I'd, I'd probably have to go for uh, probably have to go for the lamb shank. We do a nice lamb shank. Um, do, you, do you actually think um, Desi pubs, obviously they're going to serve Punjabi food or uh, Indian, South Asian food. Do you think they're going to move more into now doing English food like lamb shanks? Um, you know, the lamb shank we do is obviously Desi lamb shank, right? Um, but I, th I think if you go out in the marketplace, people are, you know, these Desi pubs are really, there's some, there's some really good ones. You've got some of the originals of superb, you know, and, uh, and so you, you, you're competing the markets like, you know, it's really, really like competitive. So you've got to be on top of your game, you know, because one opens around the corner and they're doing a certain dish, which is phenomenal. You, you, you've got to compete with that. Historically, obviously, when we had the, the Balti dishes that came from South Birmingham, Stratford Road, around there, etc., and you've got to give them to them. They did a very, very good niche for that era. But I think now the 21st century, it's about the black country, West Brom, and the Desi pubs, and that's going to spread like lightning throughout the country. You'll see them from all the way from Scotland, John O'Groats, Lands End, Wales. They'll be these will be everywhere because people realise that in your, where, where it's your typical village pub with maybe two, three thousand people is dying on its feet. You'll put a Desi pub in, and it'll, the community will just take off again, and that's where the growth is going to be. And uh, lastly, uh, why why do you think Tapri Bar? is above the rest in terms of Percy pubs. I personally think we, we, we have a nice niche in terms of where we are in the marketplace. We're slightly more up market, so the family friendly environment is there. Traditionally Desi pubs, you just see many in them. I mean, there's a few popping up now where you see families and I think that's where we are. I think you can come in here and you're not gonna have a problem, you know. Um, and also obviously we've got the football and everything, fully stocked bar. And I, I've got to say, I think our food is, is up there, I really do, and I think we, we, we're just going to keep getting better and better as well. So, yeah.